Hey, dude. So, you got a bit of a problem. Problem? Yeah. What do you mean? Um, You're just so like triple platinum. The movie, the movie director called. He wants us to make another documentary. Another doc. All right, let's go. Go. Hey guys, my name's Young Pallet. You may have formerly known me as Young Mallet. I'm an ex-rapper, currently an artist. A pretty good artist too, if I if I must say. So I got into this uh, art business thing after um, our cameraman died from. Wait, it was chicken pox, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, chicken pox. Let's start off with little, little, little. Ugh, let's add some brown. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. But I think it needs a little bit more yellow. Hi, I'm Philip. I am. I was previously Young Mallet's tour manager um, uh, and his um, mentor on his musical journey throughout the world. And now I've taken a more basic role as his artistic director. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not like I'm not the one behind all these brilliant paintings that Young Mallet's been making. And, Believe me, people tell me that they're brilliant. The most recent one he did, um, it sold for about 25 cents on eBay. Uh, here's my masterpiece. I call it chocolate. Now we're gonna use my new shade of brown and make a new masterpiece. Ooh, that's a little bit too brown, but you can always fix that with a little bit more brown. I mean, yellow brown, brown, ye yellow, but still brown. Alright, uh, so, um, my top three favorite artists of all time would have to be, like, Vincent Van Gogh, Pablo Escobar, and Da Vinci. Not, not the Ninja Turtle. The Ninja Turtle is Leonardo. Oh, and also Leonardo. The Ninja Turtle. Uh, so honestly, one of the toughest, I'd say the toughest thing about painting, like, people, Especially people, is when you have a model and they just won't stay still. I mean, I don't understand what's so hard about it. I pay them a considerable amount of money and they won't. I pay them 60 cents an hour and they won't sit still without a single movement for eight hours. I don't understand it. So, when Young Mallet first told me that he wanted to transition from being a rapper to becoming a famous painter. I thought, that's crazy. You're not a painter, you're a rapper. But, and I mean, I saw some of his early work and it just didn't have the style that he does now. But what I saw in it was the, the raw emotion that that you just can't see with anyone else. <clears throat> yeah. Especially not these faces, like Pablo Picasso. So I think my paintings and expression in my painting is especially... It's great because I don't just draw if someone's happy, or if my life's going great or bad. I don't just draw that emotion. Like, in one of my recent paintings that was interviewed by... Or not interviewed, but it was reviewed by Francis. And, um... You could see that I had drawn painted the angry self in the middle because that's such a deeper anger within your soul. I believe in art especially. Expression is very important and the way it expresses life. 
You shouldn't be hopping around from one thing to another when you find something you really like. You should just stick with it instead. Such as me, I've always, I've always been an artist. I've never been a musician, say for example. And art really allows you to express yourself and not box out those things that emotions the deeper emotions and motives that are there it allows you to not box those out and it allows you to keep pushing forward because you know what they say be there or be square because when you're not there you're not around and the box is not around <laughs>